you know, I'll interject, you know, if the spirit get on me. Shalom, uh, shalom. 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 We the real Hebrew Israelites come to you. Here we go. Prophet Simon returned to the Most High and his heavenly son. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. 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 Double honors to the apostles out of New York, Great Millstone, GMS. Honors to all I can around the planet looking at the name of Yahweh. Yahweh. From truth and sincerity. We have the brothers from GMS Chicago. We have uh, um, Yaki, we got Rala, myself. Yep. And Shalom. We have the elder apostle. Shalom. Shalom. You know, in the cut, he's doing a foot detox, so he's a little bit off camera. Yeah, living living in the detox machine, brothers. That's right. Get down with this. That's and right. The other Uriah, he yeah. said it works, man. Yes, it does. I know it works. I'm feeling better already. That's right. Um, and the name of the topic of the lesson is basically um, these last days. It's basically an open forum because when you go into these last days, you can um, actually <laughs> go into any subject about the last days, and the scriptures will tell you. And I guess that's where we can start off as a leaping point and see how um, the spirit leads after that. But um. I got one real quick uh, that I had pulled up, but you know we can just prove that we're in the last days, and then we can go into uh, <clears throat> um, you know things that are happening right now in these last days. Um, matter of fact, Genesis forty-nine. The first time we put in the word "last days" is in Genesis forty-nine and one. And Jacob called him to his sons and said, "Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days." Okay, and then if you go to Galatians. Um, it'll tell you when the last days actually started. And uh, was it a good uh, Hebrew? Hebrews, Carl Slot. Yeah, days. that's what I want. Mean. Hebrews 1 and 2. Hath in these, let matter of fact, let me start with verse 1. The Most High, who had sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things. By whom also he made the worlds plural. All right. So the last days actually started with Yahweh Shai. Okay. And this is the, he said he's going to raise this up in three days. A day to the Lord is a thousand years. We're in, um, uh, this has been over 2,000 years since the Lord has left. So we're in the third day. We're in a time of raising up. So we're in the last of the last. We're the end of the end of days. Right. That's how it is. Go to the you know that when you go into the prophecies, Matthew 24 talks about the earthquakes, all right, diverse places, the wars and women of wars. Uh, I think what's that second entrance talks about yeah. the uproars of the people. Well, it says in second entrance, as you mentioned, it, I think it's the ninth chapter. When it says, when you see part of the signs pass, it's part of it. It's right, 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 right. part of it. Right. Yeah. Part. So once they set a, a, a nest among the stars, which is Obadiah prophecy. Yeah. That was the last, that was proof of the last days. When you see the M to the O to the T to the B, the um the and C hit, it and they're pushing it up. Well, I just went, I put pulled a picture, went to um uh, Whole Foods. Um, and when we went to Whole Foods and shopping, and when we get to the counter, they have the new, well, I'm just gonna put the picture up, the, wow. the palm uh the palm print the thing, and uh and you if you can't see right here, here it is, right, and it says uh Pay with your palm. Okay. So right here next to the cash register where you uh, they got the pay with your palm right there. So they got the, the machine and then they got the credit card thing on the other side. And on this side, they got it already set for you can just to come and say, this is the palm reader. Bleep. Right. Okay, I, I'm zooming in, buddy. Zoom in a little bit. All right. And it says uh pay with your palm, look at that. All right, and this is part of the last days too. Right. So when you see these things, your prophecies start to come, like the scripture said in Second Ezra that you referenced. Then you should know that the Most High is about to visit the earth that He made. We are in the end, end of the last of the end, uh, of the last day. I got a couple. Bible this is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter sixty-five and seventeen. It says, "For I, uh, for behold." I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come to mind. So ultimately, the one that we're in right now, this present temple evil world, is ultimately going to become the former, right? So right now, in the world that we're in right now, which is ultimately going to become the former, well, we're in the last final seconds of this present temple evil world. 
You see, the, which again is going to become the former. Well, why? Well, this is the one that the Most High has given over unto the wicked. Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. This is where the one where he allowed creation to just do creation. All right. So you can see when you do creation, you get death. All right. And it's all about death. But when you do uh, 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 the will and righteousness uh, of the Most High God and the, the, the rulers, the powers that be are ruling with the righteousness of the Most High God. Then you get a paradise. Then you right. get the welfare of the world. Right? You see, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen, and uh, I'll start at verse six or five. I'll start at verse five. It says, uh, "Behold," saith the Lord, "I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction." Why? Verse six. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And again, the most high, and he ain't look, like I always say, he ain't looking down, talking about what's going on? Why are you guys doing these things? <laughs> no, this is his will. Well, right? like, so the most high said, like, Satan did it again. Right. Oh, that darn Satan. <laughs> ah, ah, buggers. Right. Slip right through my fingers. No, he so keep doing this to me. Right. Right. The most I am saying, I did that already. I did that. <laughs> I did that already. Right, right, right. I destroyed the earth before I already did that. <laughs> you do it again. Right. Do it again. Right. So, so uh, all of what's happening is the will of the Father. Hey, so, just like, just like the L.D. White about that scripture, it say, come my sons and let me tell you what shall befall you in the latter days. The prophets already knew that this was going to happen. Because it was told to us since the beginning. Right? Hey, well, the See, Lord said, and we've been waiting said, on it. Right, right. Wait second, on. Sex, second Ezra, the sixth chapter, he said, um, he, before he did anything, he thought of it all. Right. And then in Ezra, he also said, I'm telling you the end from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, that shows you true yeah, power. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the beginning, let me show you the end. Right. I'm about to, that show you true power. I'm going to tell, tell you right now, this is what's going to befall you in the last days. Everything's going to happen down this list. Right. And everything has happened. Yep. Now that we're here in these last days, and now that second edge the second chapter toward the end and says, I take to come those people who come. He said, uh, they have a scene with me with bodily eyes, right. yet they believe the thing that I say. That's it. All right. The Lord has did all that to wake the righteous, hopeful elect who can hear and who can see in these last days. And if you can hear these words and see these words, you already have a special crew and a special number above all creation. That's it. Above all creation. So, yeah, let me finish this. Uh, second Exodus 15 and 6 now. It says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Oh, boy. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. A plus oh, you see, uh, I mean, I mean, oh, I'm glad, I'm Oscar. Glad was, yes, Woo. sir. I'm glad you were that man. Listen, I want to do a video. Lord willing, I'm gonna do a video on this because I hit you know uh, alerts on YouTube every morning, just videos, Come. brothers' videos, and other videos of other events and news. What's going on in the world? I don't know where this happened. I don't know if it was in Texas or where it was. It might have been somewhere in Texas. This is Jake. You know, he was like a neighborhood legend. He was a cool with everybody, you know. But that's he. He learned that he, he made a fatal mistake. It, it, it was a Jake, right? And uh, young Jake, he might have been thirties or forties. Cool, he cool with everybody in the neighborhood. Everybody loved this dude. Everybody hung out at his house and all this stuff, right? The other night, he had a couple of niggas. This is why you don't want to hang around niggas, mm. right? The niggas in his house, and the dude, one of the dudes hanging out in his house, homeboy had to spit. So he's spitting homeboy's sink in his kitchen sink. So homeboy told him, Look, man, yo, man, dude, he wasn't a good friend of the dude, he was an acquaintance. He told the dude, you know, rightfully so. Any one of us, like, yo, bro, man, like, yo, you got to spit, spit in the garbage. Or you won't spit in my sink, my bro. Yeah. The dude, got mad and pulled out a gun to shot the dude in his own house. Wow. Multiple times. Wow. You're having rules and some decorum. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? First of all, if I if you came to my house and you had to spit and I say sit in the sink, you spit in the sink because I don't give a fuck if you spit in the sink at my house. Right. But if it's my house, I said people's gonna spit in the sink, spit in the garbage can, 
Oh, my bad. I got you. Yeah, yeah, I already yeah, spit. Jesus, That's it. You know what I'm saying? But you can't correct me. Right. You can't put judgment on me. And who the fuck are you to talk to me like that? That's the spirit of Jake got him. Jake. Right. Of See, the now, black woman. Yes. Yeah, she, black yes. Woman. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking black. These fucking big shirties and teeth. That's a psychotic yeah. black woman. Because that's how a black woman will react. Yeah. You tell the black woman, like, yeah, yeah. No accountability. These exactly. niggas. Yeah. No, you fucking niggas. These niggas. Like, remember today, we were driving. Yeah. Niggas had the street all blocked up. Remember? Right. We had crew. Them niggas wasn't going to move. Man. These, a lot of you black men. Got the spirit of that's, that's why I'm here in Chicago. A lot of you men, I, I, I've been out here all day driving around with the other you ride. You niggas, you fucking niggas in Chicago, here on the south side, all you niggas, you niggas are feminine, man. That's it. It's like, you know what I'm it, 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 but it's dangerous because you niggas got guns, right? You got the body of a man, right? But you got the spirit of the oh, evil, woman. Yeah. psychotic black woman. That's it. Because you niggas were raised by black women. Man. That's it. And we don't want you niggas around us, man. And you know what? We try to avoid niggas, but niggas want to come around us. You know what? I'm going to say this, man. A lot of you niggas are looking for daddies. Yes. That's why niggas be like, these jigs out here, they see guys like us. They see we're different. Yeah. We have an authoritative, manly spirit about us, and they want to come hovering around us. But we don't want you around us, bro, because you niggas don't know how to act. And the thing is this. Nigga, we ain't trying to be your daddies. Fuck y'all. <laughs> yeah. I was just about to play a little clip. Please. That was, uh, that I just, it's really like a 10 second clip. Off the, uh, we ain't trying to be your daddies. And we got kids. No, it's, it's done. We got kids already, nigga. We got kids. I got, I got two sons. I don't need no more. I don't need you fucking dreadhead, mop head, fucking gorillas. I ain't trying to raise you niggas, man. Fuck y'all. Stay away from me, bro. They don't, listen, they don't listen anyway. Yeah. They disobedient. So, so like, the, you know, even when I was coming up, when I was young, you know, we used to listen to authority. But when the little niggas would come up under us, they were wild as hell. You couldn't control them. They thought they knew everything. But that is, and, I was going to say real quick, the scripture says that, they, you know, they, they wax worse, worse and worse. worse. Yeah, you know, these generations. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, but... That's the that's the, the well, it talks about in that second address how the uh, the grain of evil seed, you know. I was, I was, I was, I was, how much, and, how much it gets. Yeah, right, and, and what yeah. that's what happens because again, the Most High God, He's allowing this until wickedness reaches its height. Uh -huh. So that month, that means that hey, wickedness is going to increase every single day. And, and, with, and to even speak on, even to speak on, have you know, Jake Week, you know. I was just talking to my neighbors, you know, the brothers at my house, and the, and the black woman was going in on how the brother was talking about the, 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 he was talking about the black woman. You know, the woman offended, but then the weak ass nigga chimed in, oh, he, he one of them. I said, bro, you don't know him. I said, no, he not. I said, he really only deal with the, these, these bitches because the, 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 our women ain't shit. Hold on, what did he mean by he wanted that? No, he basically was calling him a coon. I kind of went off on him, you know what I mean? But he's my neighbor, so I kind of got to keep a certain... Oh, point. so he's a simp nigga. He's a simp, yeah. Kiss so the black so ass. So I told him, and then it's Big Shirley. Oh, she, God. She got to walk with a cane, so because she don't... Got and she talking deep, shit. And she talking shit. That shit is hilarious. You yeah. so big and fucking fat, you got to walk with a goddamn cane. But you talking shit about somebody? Talking shit. You talking shit. You're fat black. And then she agreed with what I said. I said, I said, I said, you understand why you feel like that? Because I wonder. Because the days. people like you. Yeah. I women ain't shit. A yeah. big, I bet you she look like Mighty Joe Young. She was big. <laughs> she was big, bro. She was big. No, bro. Her ass hurt because she see a dude like that particular she, brother. Because she was cut. <laughs> no, first of all, that brother's. You already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. You don't say his name on camera. Right, right, right. That's the black he man. Right, right. And she wish she was wooed off. She him. wish she could fuck with a nigga like that, but she can't. Hey, not even in a not, not in And she day. knows it, but she know it. She knew only on her fantasies she could get a she could fuck with a nigga like that, right? Mm -hmm. So she mad. Right. She hurt because you don't know why? Too much. Let go, bueno. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work. KFC. White Castle. Popeyes. Oh, yeah, that's down the street. Taco Cabana. Make it work. 
uh, uh, um, uh, Burger King, right. McDonald's, Turkey King, double double Big Macs, nigga. Right. What? <laughs> I ain't done this in a while. Right. Come on, this is what a big girl party. Party 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 Right. China oh, yeah. Make it work. Make it yeah, work. Right Wendy's. China Make it work. Did it work. Did it. Make work. Did it. Make 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 it. If you go to the supermarket, you go to Kroger, like I know how, where I live, they got Tom Thumb out here. Nah, they ain't got Tom Thumb out here, okay. Right. Where I live, we got Tom Thumb in Texas, right? The despicable thing about it, you go to the grocery store, you go to Kroger, and you know how you got the little carts? Yeah. That's, that, that's for the handicapped folks. Mm -hmm. People yeah. that are really handicapped and they can't walk. Right. You fucking, you a motherfucking big shirties, man. You so fat. You gotta, I've said it, you can't even walk. Two knees rubbing together. Uh, uh. Right. And then they give them the goddamn carts and fucking big shirts and they break the goddamn they break, carts. They break the carts. That's why the fucking carts don't be working. Yeah. When I'm real. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. No, I'm going right. to get in my soapbox, man. You got me started now. You shouldn't have told me that story. Yeah, it's <laughs> See? It me off. And I have to contain myself. So, what if a, what if a person so comes, a real myself. handicapped person comes? And they really can't walk, and it, 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 the cars don't work because some fat, four hundred pound King Kong, Mighty Joe Young. I'm talking about the simp, the simp nigga she was with. Yeah, you know, simp nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shut up, nigga. I'll fucking kill you, man. Yeah. Shut up, nigga. Shut up. You sound like a mo. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. he's a loser. That nigga's a loser, and you loser niggas that be dealing with these big fat black bitches. You niggas are losers, man. Like Apostle Fahad said a long time ago, because you can't, you can't do no better. You niggas can't do no better, man. Punk ass nigga, shut up. Yep. You sound stupid. Shut up. Yep. Like my girl, my, my girl Pearl. That the, you know what I said. Yeah. Yo, Pearl, I, I fuck with her. I'm a fan. Shut up. You sound stupid. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Yeah, sorry, this, this is all a part of the signs of the times and even how, you know, our, our people's minds were molded, you know, to be according to this westernized madness, man. It's complete madness. But, again, this was the will of the Father that he has given this world over unto the wicked. And again, I'm going to read that uh, second edge 15 and 6 again. It says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, right? The whole earth is polluted with the wicked mindsets of carnality. It says, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Fulfilled according to what? According to the will of the Most High God. You see, he's only allowing this present temporal evil world where, you know, uh, 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 carnal mindsets get uh, uh, you know, influence and sway and power. He only allowed that for a particular time. That's the end thing. What's that? that it, being wicked. Oh, of course. Yeah, well, of course, know. because, you know, being wicked, that's where you can that's now uh, flourish a little bit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just like uh, uh, Satan um, uh, uh, tempted our Lord and Savior. He yeah, said, yeah, fucking, oh, man, I almost dropped the F-bomb. I don't want to get y'all pages right now. See the tag is. Yeah, come. Get on. We speak first one here. Huh. Man, yeah. Yeah, nah. you know, you know what? Right. A fucking mo, a homosexual, as the Apostle Kabbalah would say. That's it. Okay. That's in. And niggas, niggas are being moles because it's cool. You fucking niggas. Oh, the Lord gonna kill yeah. you, niggas, man. And, yep. a lot, and a lot of niggas go to go to other men because they can't get a woman. Like in Chicago, there was one dude that came on the line years ago. He said, hey, you talking shit, but it's guys like you that come to us, but y'all can't get the money that y'all want to get. What? Yeah. 
No, 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 no. I'd have cried to know them niggas. Because it's not true. No, that's, 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 that's the weak niggas. Them niggas are already, no, 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 you they, know, no, 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 It's not one female or male at this point that can't have, it's not one man that can't have a female. Ain't no female that can't have a man. If right. a man chooses a man, a woman chooses a woman, it's because they are burning in the lust for their heart. They, they wicked as hell. They're wicked. They burn into something. They're going after their own lust. The, you, the numbers are there. I've seen uh, so the, the most bitches. ugliest nigga with the most finest ass bitch yeah, and I vice versa. All right? So that's bullshit. You go, if you got a man with a man or one with a woman, that's because that's what they want. You want to fucking be with That's right. Is yeah. this what you want? Right. Is this what you want? Yeah, elder, I'm glad you said, yeah. No, the elder's right. right. Yeah, no, he's right. But you know what? I was, I was, he said it before. That's niggas' excuse. <laughs> they Listen, they shit. Yeah. The, the elder said it just now that he beat me to it. Because yeah. no, no, I was going to let you finish speaking, but I was going But the spirit had this elder say it before I could say it. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. I would have told that nigga, said, look, nigga, what the fuck you doing? Guys like us. First of all, I love no nigga, but we ain't no fucking, we don't. Yeah, I like, yeah, 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 yeah. you gotta get the fuck on, man. I had to tell him, man, you gotta get the fuck on, man. I said, no, nigga, well, right now, okay, I, I can't speak for these niggas out here in the world. Yeah. I said, up here, we ain't, we ain't about that life. Like, you get put to death. Because, like, hey, look, like Romans 1, hey, a lot of niggas, they like that because the Lord gave them, like the scripture say, the Lord gave them up to the affection. Because you didn't want to serve the Lord. You had the opportunity to serve the Lord. You niggas just wicked, man. No, niggas wanted to be yeah, fucking mold. Just, yeah, and then, man, the reason, see, there's roots. There's roots to everything. Yeah. And you know what? You know what, man? Look, man. You know something, man? And you should get that. Romans, the first chapter. Yes, sir. Niggas, you become fucking moles because you want to become a mole. And, and the most I gave you over to that. And secondly, mm -hmm. man, that's the, that's, I'm going to lay it right to arm you, like Superfly said. <laughs> like Ronald Neal said, I will lay it right on you. <laughs> okay? That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the black woman is the cause of a lot of fucking problems. And that's why I did a video the other day. You fucking black women. You fucking black women. Y'all got a lot of shit to pay for. Ooh, y'all got a lot of shit to pay for. And you know what? When it comes down, man, y'all gonna fucking, y'all gonna lose it. You black women are losing See, the the, uh, the white man and the black woman are the two enemies of the earth right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you got something for me? Just, just land back what you just said. Cut. Just around 25 and 24. That's why we don't like you, fucking black woman. That's why we don't like you. That's why we talk about you. Yeah. That's why we get on you, man. It's not because we ain't got nothing else better to do. She don't be my enemy. Y'all motherfuckers ain't right. right. You black bitches ain't right. Well, it says uh, how that uh, wisdom he that get it, um, wisdom, you know, get grief, and he, he that has knowledge, um, basically, you know, you, you know. So, right, yeah, matter of fact, let me get Why are you getting that? Hold on, let me, let me read this first. Sirach 25, 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. Dang. And through her, we all die. I just read that scripture. I just read that scripture when I did my video. That's right. That's right. See? The reason why these black men are wicked and fucking homos, okay, because they were raised by black women. Now, let me explain something to you about this. Of uh, the woman, okay, the reason these niggas are on some homo shit, because they were raised by black women. Yeah. Single black mothers, they produce homosexuality, okay? Yeah. No father around. Yeah. When you don't have a man in the house to, uh, as that uh, uh, barometer oh, or that gauge. That's what happens. See, these young boys, they're growing up with these fucking single, menstruous, evil black bitches. And the black woman is a psycho. It's cycles. Psychopath. So uh, you got a boy growing up, and his mother is a psycho. Okay? Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. She just acts upon her emotions. So this little boy growing up, looking at this crazy black psychopath female that's raising him. Right. So he going that's all he know. Right. He mimicking his psychopath. He mimicking, he mimicking the brother. You ain't got no daddy. Now, a lot of you black bitches, uh, uh, y'all got these kids. A lot of these little niggas don't know who their daddy is. Right. They don't know who the fuck their yeah. daddy is. You lucky if you know who your daddy is. Right. These little yeah. niggas out here, man. So how in the, how in the world would you think these niggas gonna be normal? 
That's why these niggas are killing each other. I just told you the story. A nigga spitting. A nigga has some niggas in his house. A nigga spitting the man's scent. The man in his house, the man told the nigga, bro, I'm spitting my scent. And the nigga lost it and shot him. That's something a black woman would do. Right. Emotional. Pride. Emotional psycho. Yeah. That's something a black woman would do. Right. So I hate you niggas. I'm a racist. I'm a fucking goddamn racist. I'm a fucking, I'm, an, I'm a bad extreme racist. That's why I tell you brothers, and I'm going to say it, and Murph will be happy. Get you a nice white woman. Why? Get you that sweet carnation milk. <laughs> Get you some carnation milk. Don't deal with the black woman if you don't have to. Fuck her too. I mean, for you brothers that like the black woman, God bless you. Good luck. <laughs> get you a white woman. Okay? Or get you a Hispanic woman. And you know what? If you get a Hispanic woman or a white woman, don't get a white woman that hangs out with black women. She probably a nigga woman anyway. Yeah. <laughs> she just got there. Just you see, but this yeah. is the cause that the Ciroc of the woman, the black woman, who it all started with Eve. She's the problem on the planet right now, man. That fucking black bitch. That's why the passport grows. I, I endorse you. I support you, man. You have something out there? Oh, yeah, right. What I was quoting. Come on with it. Come on this with is it. This Ecclesiastes. I'm sorry, man. That got me started. Man. No, no. Call I ain't trying to think of y'all's show. No, no, no. Please. Yeah. Call uh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 18. For in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. Okay, so now here it is through the spirit and power mm -hmm. of Yahweh Shai, we understand, you know, uh, 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 the righteousness of the most high God and the righteousness of the most high God will produce a paradise. You see, but right now it's, it's, it's the complete opposite. Like the scripture says in that Psalms uh, 82, how the foundations of the uh, Earth are out of course, all right. So everything is backward ass right now, going uh, uh, contrary to the righteousness of the Most High God. And so mm -hmm. they walk on in darkness. That's it. They say the foundations of the earth are out of course, right? And so, so if, so if men are supposed to be the authoritarians, and if everything is upside down, right? That means the women are the authoritarians, which means it's off. It off. Completely that means everything off. that comes out of it is going to be wickedness. Yeah. And right? I, yeah. And these men, these, these young little nigglets that's being raised by the women, they're acting like what? They're acting like they're demonic ass mothers. That's it. And so, you know? so like I always say, uh, here it is, the, 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 the wicked, what they, what they do is they rule in the complete opposite way of the creator, right? And so what they have done, they have free people, especially us, the Israelites, all right, uh, from the restrictions of life, from the restrictions of immortality, all right? And so now they're just, like we always say, free to die. You see, you're, you're just, you, 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 you have liberty from the restrictions of life, and now you're just free to die as opposed to truly living, man. Right. And we understand this now, mm -hmm. all right? And so here it is. That pisses us off. That yeah. makes us mad. Although, like scripture says, be angry and sin not because right. we, we have to long suffer the, the will of the Father. Right. Mm -hmm. Because because this law to these niggas is a burden. It's a burden to look at yourself and examine yourself in the mirror. Right. And change. That's a burden to yeah. do what's right to these wicked niggas. Yeah, I like to well, say, uh, 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 light is set against darkness, so it's good set against evil. Right. All right. So when they see somebody that's that's righteous, hey, look, what a grievous behold because they're wicked. Right. All right. So the law is grievous unto them. Right. But the scriptures say what the law is not grievous. Yeah. I it's actually good. See, and you don't you stay away from the the hey you stay away from the homosexuality. You stay away from what? You stay away from all these diseases. Hey, you fucking stay away from death. Right. You know, because that shit, that shit, the biggest, the biggest group of people who killing themselves is you fucking homosexuals, man. I'll shout out the nigga woman who killed her baby. First right. of all, and the bitch just beat her, her baby to death. I just read it. Man, bro, bro, the black woman is Satan. Uh, D Nash, uh, damn, the last time I was in these parts, I think a few months back, last time I was in mm -hmm. Indianapolis. Chicago area, Gary, you know, around these parts. 
we did a, uh, we, uh, me and uh, Elder D Man did a video on it. That picture, and she was in the United Kingdom. The black woman over there. Y'all probably heard about it. I know y'all did. She, uh, a young bitch. She wanted to go out on her birthday for like I think, two, three days. She, uh, baby daughter left the girl, the little girl in the house. And I think it was hot. The baby died. Well, this just happened with the girl in Puerto Rico. She just went over to uh, overseas or went over to some little vacation. Left her baby at the crib, in the crib, and, and, and died by, you know, starvation. You know what I'm saying? The, the Lord said that he's deprived her of wisdom. He said it like a cruel, like a cruel beast, right? Yeah. He's like cruel beast. They won't even draw off the breast. He said he's the beast to draw off the breast. These women won't even breastfeed now. Get that. So I get Job thirty nine, please. Right, because this shows you the nature. You all think that we cut these women and we cuss out women because oh, we had one failed relationship. Man, I've had who hurt several you? Several hundred bitches. Thank right? you. And so and and hey, and I did not. I wasn't an asshole to all these bitches. And all these bitches didn't leave. We had actually actually wonderful relationships. And time and circumstances kind of fucked up shit. All right. But at the same time, you women, you all think too highly of yourself because you've been believed this Babylonian juice that all people matter, that bitches matter, that men matter. You know what? Nobody on the planet matters if you're not of the hopeful righteous elect. If you're not of the hopeful righteous elect, the most high says, he said, uh, what, Isaiah 40th chapter, mm -hmm. he said, uh, um, uh, as a matter of fact, I'll get it real quick. While you're getting it, it says, All those that hate me love death. Excuse me. So, so, if you are, are not part of that elect, well, that means you have a worldly mindset, and a worldly mindset is cancerous. You, you, know? you niggas, you know what? And you know what, bro? I'm gonna say something else, too, bro. And I, the other night of the count, I, I don't want to go outside some motherfucker's head because I'm teaching Friday night of the camp, these two widows. Brothers said they were Kushites, but I, they were niggas. Now we get on the women, right? And then the spirit got on me. I started cursing out the men too. Absolutely. Right? I said, you fucking men. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all like it. Y'all like it. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. But we getting on the women. The black woman, you niggas, the women, you women ain't shit. A lot of you niggas ain't shit either. Fair, A lot of you niggas ain't shit. I understand something too. See, there's a balance to everything. Come on now. Okay, you, you, you motherfucking, a lot of you niggas are losers, man. That's right, man. Losers. Well, mm -hmm. well, who did the Lord give the power yeah. to rule? Men. Yeah. So to listen to the woman and to follow up for the woman to be up her ass, it's really, when we cuss out women, it's really still the man. Because your ass was supposed to have your woman in check. Amen. All right? Now, what Esau did was pick the woman. The woman left, right? I got the yeah. Oh, right. yeah. He picked the woman. Over the men, and then gave the woman all these gifts, all these uh, uh, um, treats. And all no, these they, said like, they said, like Mike Tyson, the goodies, the women. Hey, even Mike Tyson said it. You're the women, and I did like those goodies. And they I got all the goodies. goodies, right? So <laughs> and he gave them all the goodies, and now they use those goodies as if they don't need them. All hey, yeah. right? Hey, that's why That's why even uh, the best you got ass put away. <laughs> hey, when, look, you got to think in the ancient times, if, the man, if your husband, hey, the scriptures tell you, even your wives, when you talk to your when you talk to your husband, your conversation is supposed to be covered with fear. That's right. All right. So even when you went and you talk to your husband, you're supposed to be afraid of how you talk to that man. Because really, we are the representation of your The scripture right, says so. Yeah, right. The head yes. of the father is your house shot. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the head of your shot is your house. Right. The head of man is your shot. The yeah. head of all man is man. It's the man. I'm gonna say this. I, I gotta get this off. I started getting on these men too, right? See, but it's, it's a domino effect thing. It all go, at the end of the day, it all go back to this cracker. Mm -hmm. It go back to this honky. Right. It, mm -hmm. you, 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 you motherfucker, you, right. you, you, you fucking Edomite, man. They're rude. You see, the Esau, that's why, boy, man, I tell you what, man, real soon, Yahweh Shai gonna come back, man. He gonna jump out on this motherfucking kingdom. And Esau, you elites, I'm talking to you. Fucking elites. I know y'all listening, man. Okay. okay. You devils do what y'all gonna do. Your karate, well, you know, man. When we get you motherfuckers, when we get you in captivity, y'all don't fucking wish y'all was never created. That's right. Okay, it's gonna be so bad, man. Oh, it's gonna be so fucking bad. You say render unto the double. So all the stuff that you did to us, now the difference between us and them and the slavery 
we ain't gonna do some horrible debauchery. No, so we're not gonna cut your rod off and and yeah. put, it in pickle, put, put it in the pickle jar. We ain't gonna do dumb ass. We ain't gonna rape your woman in front of you. Right. We can't do that. Right. Because see, we're bound by the law. That's right. But we are gonna take your women. We are gonna take your little, your fine daughters as soon as they. Shut up. I mean, soon as they get. Oh my God, my period. Um, to the house. After that week, though, that that I, I, she got one. Her period week is the last week of the family. What? Full of blood. That's and, it. As soon as she cleared to the house, to the chambers, if she's chamberable. That's a new word. No, if see, she's chamberable. We're gonna do the yard, which I did to us. <laughs> And the kingdom, but look, the Bible says we should meditate upon terrorists. Right. See what y'all did to the black woman, and the black woman is so fucking stupid. I thought, like, a part of me, a part of me kind of feel bad for the black woman. I, I really don't, but a part of me, a small part of me is like, wow. I mean, we make jokes, we talk shit, but it's like, yo, you black women, man, y'all don't even see what the white man did to you. Bro, I dare say, I would dare say 80% of you black women are big Shirley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All these, a whole nation of big, fat black women. And y'all, I was on the train with them. The train, that was a bunch of big Shirley's on my, on my car. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wow. Right. I'm like, yo, these black women, they're, they're comfortable with being big Shirley. Right. right. Oh, oh, right. Well, well, they're proud about it now. Yeah. Because you know what? You got that simp ass nigga who can't get nothing else. And we're looking at Big Shirley and gassing her ass, and and because he, he he ain't got nothing else he can get. So never mind working on yourself, no. getting you know but getting better, doing what better. Would you, you, you drive for a cab? Right. You, you drive up down this road, down. Yeah. Who do you see out there driving all the time? Right. Yeah. Who? You know, those who are fit. And, know, and and what's for the, the most what, part? What race do you see majority? White women, right? Yeah, yeah. Majority of these heathen nations. Yeah. You see the white women mm-hmm. leading off the rest of the heathen nation. Yeah, yeah. You see a token. Of a nigga woman. When I say a token, I'm talking about one to two percent. Oh, okay. Well, hey, we was in a liquor store just now. Right. That little thing in there that was flirting with me. Yeah. She was fine. Yes, she was. She was young though. Yes, she was. But that's a token. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. She was fine, y'all. Yeah, well, I, I don't right. like the black woman, but she would get it. Hey, brother, she had an hour life. And she was a short spinner too. Woo. So she, I, she, she get it. I got a quick one for you. And I wonder, I said, take a picture. No, I can't. Because she wanted to wear my hat. Right. She wanted to wear my hat. Right. So I said, okay, what can I get? I'm wearing it right now. So good. Then why you open your mouth? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I should have given my card. Right, right, right. 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 And she was saying, because, you know, that's, I told you what we were saying right there, that she didn't like the answer. She did not want to, this, and then one of the main bosses to get to. Okay, 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 okay. But I have, I have pulled this one when you said, uh, you know, how that, uh, you know, basically Esau, Edom, and these nations, they're going to get, you know, what they've done to us. So uh, this is substantiated. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. It says, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. That's right. And all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. Yeah. And okay. they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Yes, they. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So <laughs> here it is. The Lord allowed them to devour us. They have a, 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 a time, all right, that they're able to devour us. Matter of fact, in that uh, second address, it talks about how that uh, we were given over oh, until the, uh, uh, we were given over. Hey, 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 we hear you though, we hear you. Come on, we're doing a bit, we're doing a bit. We laugh. Bro's coming in for class. Yeah, yeah. That was good shit in the background. Oh, man. I recognize and, you guys. But uh <laughs> but here it is, the Lord has uh, you know given the earth into the hand of the wicked, and right now they have the power, you know, to devour us, all right, to have us in captivity, to spoil us, to prey upon us, right? But as the scripture says, therefore all they that devour thee, when they we reach that fulfillment, all right, the bounds that they cannot pass, it says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Now I say this. That's why I said in the kingdom, you know what we're gonna do to you, man. You know what we're gonna do to you, man. Y'all turned the black woman into Big Shirley. Three, three on. You fucking crackers. <laughs> right? You fucking you, you crackers. See, we're gonna get the finest of your women. That's right. In the kingdom, like the like the other year. Well, as soon as you uh as soon as that cherry is ready, we're gonna take your fine daughters. The one job crack is gonna be done with, they're gonna be big Becky's. They all gonna be the and, big and, and, and you know what? 
The funny thing about it, we would make it that way. We no, we're going to make it. You took it out of my yeah. mouth. We're going to make it that way. We're going to have the spiritual power. Because on one hand, we would be giving you the recesses and the little pop. Like you gave us the bullshit. You gave us the, uh, uh, the, the scraps. Right. We would give you the scraps. But guess what? You have what you have done to Nick, the nigga woman here on this side. We you know, gonna do. You, 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 you got to get it back because we're going to surrender to the double. So you go look at Keisha. Go look at Issachar. Go look at Ephraim. Go look at the northern and southern kingdom. Majority of the women that is in our in our uh, in our families now are obese as fuck because yeah, they eat hot country curls. They eat the goddamn hog yeah. balls. Oh yeah, they got the white castle. They got that fucking the, 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 the Mexican bitch got a cut bag too. That's yeah. a widow. They all look like chunky monkeys, man. They all look like burrito. Koala bears, man. I said it before we left the crib. I told him to talk. I said it's fucking hot, crunchy curls. Yeah, and it's every day. It was for breakfast. Fuck every day. Cheese, meatballs. Bitch ain't even brushed our teeth. Honey buns, hot crunchy curls. So Esau did that shit. That's right. You crackers, man. Yeah. So what we're talking about right now is scriptural. In the kingdom, you all you slaves. Well, cool. All you slaves, man. All you slaves, your women are gonna be fat. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna see that. That's right. They gonna hate this. Your women are gonna be fat. You're gonna be popping them because you gotta be producing. You're gonna be popping them. Man. Right. Three they're minutes. Gonna be, they're gonna be either olive oils or they're gonna be goddamn it, Roseanne Bottles. And hey, you know they <laughs> you know they say to the same motherfuckers. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna, 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 gonna pop it. You're gonna be popping a 400 pound bitch and you're gonna love it, crack up. <laughs> <laughs> we won't yeah. do it until you love it. That's right. it. All right? But all the fine ones, we going to have. That's right. I'm glad I had emotion to what he said. The fine ones are going to be with us. That's right. As soon as that damn shit start bleeding, boy, like the other you guys, we're going to sit there breathing, just breathing, looking like the Phantom of the Opera. It's like Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty ass, that pretty ass slave bitch coming up out of there, boy. Yo, I'm a phantom of the opera mask on. That mask, that mask, Ross. Bring her forth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the chamber. Oh, yeah. Then he yeah. got the gloves on too. That shit just. Made and it. I said it. I said this a couple of years ago. I did a video. The white woman for you punks, you moles out there. Uh, I did a video the other day. And you, one of you, one of you punks, okay, said something. Said, uh, and then he left a message on my shit. Cause I said the black woman is Satan. I did a video a couple of days ago saying the black woman is Satan, right? right? And uh, some nigga, you know, a little scoff. Hey, you know, to my naysayers and my detractors, yeah. right? Uh, uh, <laughs> you like, I am a cop. You like them cave <laughs> bitches, right? You like, said you like what? You hey. am a cop. You yeah, we know you like them cave bitches. So I did a response. I said, okay. I said, well, if anything, the black woman are like a cave woman to me. That's right. I said, these big Shirley's. Read. That's the reason why when you go to fucking Kroger, the, 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 <laughs> <laughs> the, the carts are broken because these yeah. big Shirley's. I'm like, yo, man, listen, man. Hey, yo, neighbor. You can't even fucking Mine, walk. That bitch big. 500. Cursing me out. So like your his neighbor cursing. I know. Cursing me out to him. Hey, well, we talked about she that. She told me she ain't. I ain't saying, say one yeah, word to her. We talked about that. Yeah. We were talking about you. Yes, I didn't say one word. Brother, to we were just literally talking about it. I didn't say anything when you here, so they know the, the brother Murph, the yeah. big fat black walking with a cane. The bitch, the bitch mad because she can't get with you. That's right. But see, you know, but I'm gonna revert back to what I was gonna finish saying. Oh, a lot man. of you niggas are losers. That's why uh, uh, Friday night at the camp, I was about to go upside some nigga head, right? Because really? the spirit switched up, right? We talking about the women, but I'm talking about you men, right? They fucking worse. And I said, you fucking Israelite men ain't shit, man. I said, a lot of y'all, you know, you weak. You men ain't right. If you men was in order, then the woman would be in order, right? But we know, but we know the white man's behind that. Right. But if you niggas have some balls, Cojones. if you black men have some fucking goddamn integrity, man, you wouldn't tolerate certain shit. You wouldn't tolerate big shit. Meaning you wouldn't, you better look, bitch. You better lose some fucking weight. Right. Like back in the day when I was coming up. Yeah. The, the, you we used to shame fat bitches. We, of course. We, you know, we, we was exactly. just the hoes that yeah. was on the blade, like real prostitutes. Yeah, real prostitutes. Like a wig, like that. Like when I was a kid, 
that was for, that was a prostitute attire. Brother, before that, women never wore weave. If they did, it was a wig, and they wore a wig because the shit was falling out in the older age, and they didn't wear gray and too so bad. I remember as a kid when people started wearing weed because when it was in the late eighties to early nineties when because Jake couldn't afford weed, Esau, even they might have done weeds, whatever because that's actually a Jewish one of thing. They actually put the weave in their hairs. So yeah, Esau do that shit, and and they do a whole lot of that. Um, our women didn't do it, so I'll be looking around like, yeah, man, it's nice. And then they go, oh, it ain't mine. That was an advent that happened in the late nineties. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, before then, that was not like that. You knew a woman who had a hair because they all had either their natural or they had the, uh, the straight nair, curly nair, curly nair, uh, roller hair. That that bullshit, that curly, that nice hair. Uh, 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 we, we, we've been talking so, about that, so man. That you either saw the woman that got the hot comb straight in hair yeah, yeah. or they had the nice nat nat natural That's hair scary. or they had just uh -huh. decent hair and they had the braids or whatever. You didn't right. have the bullshit. That shit came, and I and you yeah. used to catch us the fuck off guard. So mm -hmm. I started. Then I started challenging women on their hair. Is that your hair? And then yeah. they got snappy. I got the receipt. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Me and you about the same age. Right? Right. Right. Me and you about the same age. Right? Yes, sir. I'm one. I'm one year behind. Okay, you're fifty. I'm fifty-one. Mm -hmm. So this brother's talking to me, man. Okay, so we pretty much we grew up together. You can say me and his elder grew up together, man. We in our fifties. I remember. The late 70s. Mm -hmm. I always talk about this shit, man. I remember I was talking to a chick on the train, man, around my age. And we had the same conversation. I remember the fucking 70s, bro. Okay. I remember, okay, we talking about Floyd Mayweather and all these other I remember when Muhammad Ali was the champ. We was yeah. talking about Ali in the car. Yep. Just on the way. We just talking about I had a Muhammad Ali dog. In 1977, in 1977, I turned six years old. And I remember the world back then. I remember, man, the pimps, man, and I grew. I really grew up back on that shit, man. I remember in the neighborhood, but I was naive back then. It was crazy. What are you talking about, priest? It was crazy, man. It was crazy. No, I remember the pimps. I speak all of us kids. We used to see the pimps, like, but you know, at that age, it's a brand, man. I didn't. You know, no, no, they, 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 it's a brand, man. It's a piece of soft. Yeah, the pimps were fucking cool. Yeah. You know? The pimps used to always break off in It's the break off of your bloods, man. No, man. It's the break us off, man. Yeah, but I thought I'm these dudes in nice. suits. And I didn't That's know nice. when see at that age. I was six, six, seven years old. We, I didn't know that the niggas was pimps. I grew up there with some cool, cool niggas ass niggas with a bunch of bitches. Yeah, yeah. And that's back when the black woman was fine. Okay. Pam I Greer. see these dudes. Yeah, Pam Grill looking things. Pam Diane Greer. Carroll looking oh, things. Man. And these dudes, they had the, you know, the Cadillacs and the, they had the back, crack, but it stop for them. Let it stop. It's in the store, and we could buy beer back then, but they're going to sit back a hot ass. And shit, you go get the shit, and the niggas give you five dollars, hey, they pay man. you and shit, peace, you know? It's like 20 dollars. I still, you know, yo, that man, movie, was, man, yeah, that yeah. movie was good, that was oh, real shit. Say that movie again, yeah. what, 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 what was the name of that movie? The Mac. For well, edification's sake. The Mac's Julian. Julian. Rest in peace. Richard Pryor, rest, rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace, man, Richard Pryor. Then they just sit in the car, and I said, that, that, I, 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 I can relate to that. They just sit in the car, and take you to that. And I know I went to my mama. I said, yo, man, I said, hey, he got a lot of girls. Damn. My mother said, he a goddamn pimp. Don't be hanging out with them pimps. I'm like, pimp? What's up, man? Great. You want to break that down. I catch you in school again. You want to get no bread. I ain't no, man. I catch you in school. No, I said, no. No bread. She told me that one day they had sex. Damn, man. And you know, I'm like, huh? Well, I mean, I, I, made understood it. Liar. I understood it when she told me my mother, ah, that, that I had girlfriends. Because shit, I was like, oh shit. I thought that was his girlfriends. That's 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 his girlfriends. I like pimps though, man. <laughs> well, there's one thing about pimps, they're honest. They're honest, right? man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, these are like 
No, I said, who else shit can be this black? <laughs> I just found him like that. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I want to get back to my original point. A lot of you men ain't got no balls, man. You so-called black men and some of you other tribes, too. You allow a lot of things. You tolerate a lot of things. Big Shirley wouldn't exist if you niggas had some balls, man. If you niggas had some balls. If you niggas told a bitch, look, bitch, yeah, it's Jim, or I'm out. Nah, baby, you didn't know. Baby, you didn't know big. Yeah, Take on. me as I am. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, okay? Fuck you. That's why you got the passport bros. That's why black men, you black women are losing. Right. That's why the black man is going to the white woman. That's right. Sweet, y'all that sweet white woman. The, the orphan, no, that sweet carnation milk. That's it. I got some. That's right. Okay. Uh, 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 or, or the orphan. I want, I want me an orphan. Oh, 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 I, 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 I didn't have this before. I would love some rice. Oh, oh and they love Jack. I like a black man. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. The yeah. black woman is yeah. Yeah. Some what? Surprise. But you men, you loser ass niggas. Like I said at the camp uh, uh, um, uh, Friday in Texas, I was like, yo, I said, listen, a lot of you men are losers too. A lot of you niggas, you get with these women. I talked to her seconds years ago. See, we get on you women, but we get on you men too, man. Right. You Israelite men. A lot of you niggas, you loser, pookie, way, way niggas. Uh, especially a lot of you niggas that come out of the prison system, right? But I understand that shit. You get you get with a woman because you need somewhere to live, right? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I, I I can understand. See, man, look, man, we're reasonable guys. Let me spur the y'all by showing y'all the shot. They gotta survive. Look, shit yeah. gotta survive. I get it, <laughs> but nigga, you gotta always be thinking ahead. Okay, you come out the joint. Hey, man, you ain't got no family. You burnt all your bridges. Uh, I can see if you lock on to something. Because like for a couple of months, like okay, but I'm just gonna lay up with this bitch. So I get my shit together. So I get my shit together. Yeah. This yeah. is just a plan. Yeah. I mean, am that's I wrong? What, that's what Big Shirley yeah, used to be for please. back in the day. This, this, <laughs> right, 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 right. this is first Timothy three. Uh, now this talk about this. <laughs> I want to get a point that you just said. All right, this talk about elders and bishops over this. All talking about men. All right, this is a manly man. This is the Lord is cussing out the men of the Lord and uh, telling them how a man of the Lord is supposed to be. Right. Um, oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Elder Rod, before you read that, you said it was to the bishops, right? Mm -hmm. You said it's to the Lord, because not the men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Who the men for? But who do they teach? Men. Yes. So essentially, it, this is the trickle effect. This is yes. a man's character. Yes. A bishop just happens to be a top tier man. So, like, y'all, I, I just So, want to this read. is one of the requirements that oh, we have for men. All right. How we're supposed to be sober, good behavior, and so forth. I'm just going to pick up, right? Uh, Verse three, not given to wine, nor striker, nor greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawl, and not a covetous. One that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. So the Lord's, and then he says, for if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? So one of the prerequisites for a man of the Lord from the most high, the Lord, is you gotta know how to rule your house. Mm. And you gotta have your women under subjection, your children under subjection, your house under subjection. Right. If your house is not under subjection, the Lord's gonna say, damn nigga, how can you rule my kingdom? How can I set you over a whole galaxy if you don't know how to take care of Keisha, Daisha, Sequina, Bina, and Junior? All right, if you don't know how to take care of your own, the Lord hey. can it's no good. Now, when I said Friday at the camp, right, I was, he was teaching, and the Spirit got on me. I just started going in on niggas. Right. I was like, yo, man, you niggas. I was like, you know what, man? I was like, we get on these women a lot. I was like, a lot of you niggas, man. A part of me understand why these bitches are on social media. These black women are talking shit, too. I tell them all. I tell them all. I agree with you. I, I get it. it. I get it. If, if I was like one of these niggas, I wouldn't want you to like me. Yeah, I, I hate them. I kind of get it, man. Right. See, these black women that's talking shit about niggas, they wouldn't be able to talk that shit if there wasn't niggas out there that was actually like that. Right. Nigga, okay, fuck even. No, man, no, I ain't gonna use the jail excuse. You niggas ain't, some of you niggas ain't even been to jail, man. You just niggas, man. Yeah, you gonna lay, I, I got niggas in my family. 
family members like this. Every <laughs> mooching off bitches. Shit. I got a cousin right now on my mama's side of the family. A cousin. He a cool nigga and whatever, but he's a nigga, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, I love the nigga. We grew up together. I grew up around him. You know, he's a Judah. He was on my mother's side of the family. But this nigga, man, yo, know, he older than me. If I'm 51, that means he's like 53. Right? This nigga, last time I spoke to him, this nigga still, he living with his mama, my aunt. My butt, right? And, but like when he goes back and forth, like, he'll, you know, he's like, you know, he's a good looking dude, lady, man. He's on the street. You know, he always been a late you know, That nigga always had the money. He had all kind of bitches. He that, he that type of nigga. But let me explain something about this nigga. This nigga, he didn't have a couple of cars. This nigga, he'll get bitches. Well, you know, he a, he a gigolo. Uh, Nigolo. A niggolo. He'll get a chick. He'll meet different chicks. You know, he deal with different chicks. You know, he had like tender chicks, black chicks, right? I'm glad you give him his um his props, even in the review. That's how I know this is a real apostle. Holy <laughs> man. Yeah, man, I'm gonna give him his props. You know, I always looked up. And to not him. a hater. I know, and I always don't know. That nigga, he helped me get pussy. You know, like I always you know? You know, I, I still I mean that's my cousin. I love the nigga. I got love for him. But he's a nigga, man. <laughs> like, like, cause like, yo, like he's the type of nigga that I'm talking about, though. Like, okay, I can see that shit was cool back when we was 18, man. And, and like, you know what I mean? I mean you get chicks I had women spend money on me. That's right. I, I played that game. I, had a right. I was Lord. with a woman. This is back. I was in the truth too. I was like, oh, right. shit, I'm trying to get some money tonight. Like, hey, I had this chick spend five hundred dollars on me. Read this chick I was with. She was a, a black woman too. Right. Like, I dealt with the black woman. She, she, she came with some money. You know, I, you know, I was in love with her. You know, she broke up me. Broke my heart. We were together for two years. This was my early years of the truth. We was engaged. Damn. We was engaged. We had engagement ring. I was going to marry this chick. But she was fine. A little short, Judah. A little dark skin, cocoa. I loved her. And she had a kid. She had a kid too, man. I love the kid, but he was my own son. You know what I mean? That dude probably a grown man now. But uh, uh um, anyways, my cousin, this nigga, he's like, this chick, this chick, this chick, what money you? Like, Yo, okay, that was cool back then. When we was 18 and 17, okay, you know, we played pants and shit, but nigga, we grown men now. This nigga still on that shit. I'm like, dude, you can't just be mooching off women. That shit ain't cool. That's not cool. You gotta be a fucking man. At some point, I mean, okay, cool. Look, if a woman buy you something, cool. Hey, if you can get some money out of a bitch, and she, whatever, but that can't be your life career. That shouldn't be your favorite chain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. That's cool, man. Like, if a chick wanna do something for you, I ain't gonna tell you no. See, that's, they should want to do something. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. I, can I say this? Yeah. Like, cause I, I'm really a man who demands some, 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 some. I really be yeah. wanting a woman to give me money. I think that shit's cool, but yeah, wrong, you right? gotta understand, you cannot make that your life or deal, cause, cause women are too fickle for that. Uh, for that to be your, for any fickle, I don't even like working for the white man because, hey, it's, the what the scriptures say, those that are subject to change, and women are the most fickle things in the world. So uh, that can't be your deal, man. God. Uh, like my cousin. Yeah, yeah. About this nigga, that's his, in 2024, the last time I talked to him, like, like, he, like he thinks the world owe him something, man. You got, you got a scripture on that about how a man, like, man, like, dude, the world don't owe you nothing, nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? The world don't owe you, you know how, how, how the friends go. I guess. And you just said it, brother. Women are fickle. Apostle Gabar always quotes that. Uh, uh, Apostle Gabar, Says it in Latin, in Vino and in I, in Vertex, I think it is. Women, women are fickle. Yeah, chip taking them. So, you niggas, you niggas, that all you want to do is, I don't care if you came out of jail or if you didn't come out of jail. You you meet some chick, you living with some chick on section, uh, chick on section eight, laying up on her house, just laying up, smoking weed, got your boys coming through, and your nigga smoking weed, eating all the kids, Captain Crunch. <laughs> hey, you really, you really giving the woman leverage over you too. Oh, hold on, say that again. You giving the woman leverage over you. 
Elder you right. Could you read the last part of that, Timothy? Because I want to make a point. This, this, this is the spirit. The apostle said this in the raw last This, that's that. That's gonna be hard at home, boy. Ain't no bitch getting no better than me. Hey, look. I don't. I, I haven't had a home, so to speak, in many years, man. But when I had a home, he seen what I, I dealt with the woman. Yeah, I don't play firsthand. Home. And yeah, because because you know the, 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 Israel, the black woman, man, you know they dragons, man. You know right now they the dragons, Lord. you know, and and you know they rough, man. So if you if you give a, a woman too much liberty, you know, I like like the elders, Saint Benji, like to say it's it's a constant battle with the woman for authority in your house. That's when you I say you want the truth, and I got two of them, so it's a constant them trying to try me. So it's a constant trying, it's a constant me putting my foot down. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't like that shit. But the fact it's a vexation. It's a vexation because I shit, I don't, I'm really, I really, I really you like want to do peace. It. Yeah, I like peace. I like to spoil my bitches. But they put you in the spirit and it's like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it don't work. You know, hey, can I, can I read this real quick to prove my point? Come on. This, this Proverbs 31. And then I'm gonna tell you something. This Proverbs 31. Was something that Lamuel's mother taught him. Ooh, Proverbs thirty-one. Yeah, his mother taught him this. The sauce. She put him on the sauce. Now, for you brothers, you know, there got women that so-called believe in the truth. You know what? Let's read this. I want to learn the scripture. Look, okay. All you need to know is Proverbs thirty-one. That's why I'm talking. not breaking down Ezekiel the seventeenth chapter. I'm not breaking down Revelation seven chapter to you. Second Edwards, the hey, eleven child. Hey, mom, shallow one. Hey, what's from shallow one? Shallow one. Hey, apostle. My wife used to say, "What you know?" That's my hat. My my brothers. My wife used to ask me, oh, "Well, you don't have class with us." I tell her, I say, I tell her, I tell her, I tell her, I tell her, hey, learn how to be a wife. You know, hey, look, you know, you tell a woman. I mean, she used to ask me, teacher. I say, no, learn learn how to be a wife. I mean, being a wife is not something you need the scriptures for, to be honest, because that's in your nature. Hey, hey, that's being in your nature to love me and take care of the house and, and, and tend to my needs. It's women out here in the world who tend to their fucking men needs. Bitch, tend to my needs. You know what I like. You don't know what I you know what I don't like. Make sure this fucking house clean. You know what I like to eat and what I don't like to eat. You know how my food is good. <laughs> my bitch, hey, Chinese, hey, bro. Hey, oh, stop trying to stop say. trying to stop trying to learn the scriptures so you can kind of you know, hey, hey, just like this, it's that combative thing. Women like to be on to put themselves on a level to be able to go toe to toe with you. So they can, yeah, so they can oh, well, the scriptures say this, the scriptures say that. Hey, how about this, bitch? Go go tell that in New York or go tell that, go back to your mama house and tell them that shit. That's right. But this shit ain't finna happen here. See, see, see. You know? Hey, hey, I guess, hey brother, I guess. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Now, look, me and you, you know? So this, this video kind of, man, look, man, you get your ass the fuck on. God, this is Proverbs 31 and 3. The scripture says it. That's the way you would have to come. Hey, set that <laughs> hey, for one, and the Lord will jack you up for not doing it. And, and another right. thing, too, Nick. these women we deal with, we're not dealing with birds and women. That's right. Thank these women right. are not our wives, man. Nope. Oh, right. You know, these, hey, when the scriptures say if she please, if, if she please the death, that's talking about a fucking wife. A woman who you took her fucking virginity. That's right. Not no fucking slut who you talked to at Harold's Chicken. Definitely was at the Harold's. You ain't, hey, look, this bitch didn't have a hundred dicks before she met you. Come on. Nice. You He's ain't gotta nice. get his bitch. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta listen to this bitch. That's right. This bitch ain't gotta sit around. That's if right. this bitch don't wanna listen to you, bitch, I'm not bound to you anyways, bitch. Beat it. Well, the screen says, uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> shit. You have a woman after you. Your mind, right? Forsake her, not right. But they yeah. do the hey, a mind well instructed. That's it. So she do what you tell her to do. Like, like the scripture, he, he, like right. also, man. he said, uh, uh, "Help like unto yourself." Right. So how would you help yourself? Are you gonna give yourself some goddamn rack beans? No. Oh, get yourself the good shit. So, right. so then, why would you put somebody? Yourself, like, hey. are you, well, he said, "A woman like unto yourself." Hey, man, so what are you gonna give yourself? Listen, the best or the fucking worst? Right. I'm gonna have to fucking go on my old page. Videos and, uh, for the ladies, y'all saw that video. Really? Right? Yeah. Y'all saw. I know y'all all saw that video. And, and brothers, maybe. Well, I know that was the only video I did for the sisters. I shared on my page. I remember. 
You remember that Research shit, right? it, yeah. I got to try to dig that shit. Try to suss it. Repost it. Repost it. Yeah. yeah. Because contrary to what women think, I'm a firm still be righteous men of the Lord. The scripture said, we even met, we quoted this earlier. The scripture say, outside of your house, the house shot, the brotherhood, and the men of the Lord is true. When it, outside of the Lord is true, a man loveth nothing better than a beautiful, 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 beautiful woman. Beautiful so, woman. So, no, so, I'm I'm loving nothing so, so after we've done all the work for the Lord and the men, men of the Lord, we, all the business is taking care of existence. I just so we live, nice. move, and have our being. <laughs> all right, what are we about to do? Hey, what are we about to do? And, and we y'all don't know how. And with Judah, Judah say, what do I got to do to lay with me? Come on, he right. said, like, wait, like, what I got to do? What I got to do? You know that shit. Hold you know what I'm saying? And he said, and then he said, what you have to do? Come on, come on. But I mean, he did not know who he did. It's like, okay, okay, okay. Because, okay. <laughs> but that's the. But Inside that's the prophet's prophesied, man. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and but, right. but, but that's the spirit that we're supposed to have and the spirit that women's supposed to have. But right now, everything, surely you're thing, turning the things upside down. Don't be as famous to Father Scott. But I still got a uh, matter of fact, let me hit that. Yeah, yeah, no, no. This is this is coming back full special to the man. Right. Being a bitch ass nigga, and this is why you can't, because it's a ripple effect That's it. of not following the law of the Lord. Even like how the, the elder bro Raw, I just said what he said about, about ruling this house and about cutting a woman off. And the elder bro Yacht said, not going after thy mind if she don't go after thy mind. If you don't do this, the Lord will jack your stupid ass up. But go back to that. Let, let him get it. Let him get it. Let him get it. First Timothy 3 oh. and, 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 and 4. Yeah. One that ruleth well his own house. Mm -hmm. So if you a nigga, if you a nigga, mooch him. We're going to break this down. You mooch him. You live with some bitch. She on section 8. Four kids deep. Well, four kids, but different. Not nigga. yours. Not yours. Okay. She already got kids, right? And she <laughs> might have a little job. Maybe she's minor, she on welfare or whatever. Right? Food stamps, you eating them, you should be eating up all the goddamn food, eating up all the high hell. food stamps, high as hell. Took me a plan, uh, John okay. Madden. <laughs> 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 Living up in this bitch house. Man, two dirty house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, nigga, say, oh, baby boy. I got a, your mama bought me the game. It was a Z, just got to enjoy it. It's up playing Madden, that two dirty house. She's the cause too. She enabled him. Get out the nest, Jody. Yeah, but no, when she wanted to get some dick, the mama wanted to get some dick. Yeah, right. So right. She was right though. Right. But she, she wasn't wrong. No, not at all. Nigga, you got two baby mamas. He could have been one, either one of them he wanted to. Uh, Yvette, right? That bitch, that little big, big forehead uh, <laughs> jack of mine I'm looking yeah, at. I'm like, 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 <laughs> right? I used to think she looked good, but that bitch, she got a jack of lantern head. <laughs> anyway, right? <laughs> it ain't no light in that motherfucker. He wanted to be with her. Zero. They had a kid together, but she had, she was living there by herself. This nigga living with his mama, right? And even the, her girlfriend told him, what that nigga moving with you? He ain't moving with me. You know, he ain't leaving with his mama. And then mama bring her home, Ving Rhames, and you up there, Trying to regulate your mama life, nigga. That's a that's the that's a nigga story. I was like, nigga, if you don't get your fucking ass out of here, something, man. But that's why my man Ben Raymond said, "Go on for your mama." Nigga said, "Go on lockdown." Such a little chocolate bitch. He's popping off to this dude, knowing you a whole ass nigga. Right. He was trying to help you out. He trying to help you, man. That nigga was cool, but nigga, that that what he told him. He said, "You take your mama." Is your woman, but this is my woman. I've been in situations like that, and like, man, I'll break your little ass off, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 
Yo, man, yo, your mama and your fucking woman. Niggas, niggas have uh, got problems, yeah, it's man. Like, it's been the, the, the Israelite woman raised them like that. Con. Uh, Israelite women raise their sons to be the man that they want. You know, uh, the Israelite women teach they teach they sons to be finished, man. Um, oh, oh, you happy wife, happy life, son. Don't no way in the scriptures. Where's that in respect, the scriptures? Respect all women, regardless of what they say. If she put her hands on you, don't hit her back. If she, that's all that's come from the black woman. And yes. that's, you know, know what happens? Right. That goes contrary to nature. Right. You can try to follow that, but this is spirited within man. Right? Mm -hmm. And the most high gives us the inspiration. inspiration of the and, 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 and it goes it on so far before a woman could say those magic words, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Fuck you, your mama, your auntie, your cousin, your so daughter. Happens? They say everything until they search that bing, bing, bing. Jeez. And once that bing, bing comes, it says, them, them, but like, I don't know where you're going. No, bro. I said this before. You're right. I said this before. Like, you know, you don't know, you know, want to hit a woman that will like, you don't want to. Look, I used to beat bitches' asses. Man, I'm a pro. I don't do that no more. I don't do that no more. <laughs> I'm delivered. 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 i no, no, no. Oh, you ever did that? You bit someone's chicken, you put your fist right in your face. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it was crazy. They want that to happen. Yeah. No, no, that's hey, a black woman. No, no, no. Still so like it, still so like it, still so like it. When you do that, they actually come in. They bust a nuts. Yeah. They yeah. like that shit. Yeah. And you know what? Because they like masculine. Yeah. And, but but so I yeah, don't get off on that because I don't get off on beating your ass. I don't get off on that. Get off. That, no. That's a vexation to me. No, I, I don't know. want to, but I, I don't want to feel bad. I have a physical. Did you do that? Shut up. Right? And then she keep talking. That ain't enough. You know what I mean? So that means the other, other option would be to fuck out. <laughs> so <laughs> what do you, where are we at? Because you either getting the fuck out or I was done. And it's fucked up that a man now, instead of using, you know, his own strength, he had to call Keisha's best friend, 911, to get Keisha out. Right. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? And guess what? 911 will turn on you too, Keisha. That's the reason why I can't wait till the shit really gets good and dry. That's you're right. Gonna, you're going to call 911 and this is what's going to be your money. You okay, motherfucker? Okay, motherfucker. It's like, do do do. The number that you call is busy right now. It's gonna be. It's gonna be I, I, I had to quote that nigga yeah. Yasharan. He used to always say, "We feel like you gonna say, 'Yeah, 
she gonna call them man. Shut the wall. Oh, that guy, yeah. That nigga, I had that from us. That black fat nigga. He got that from us. He got that voice and that bald head. He got that from us. It's so demonstrative. We in the bar and the bar and the bar and the same back in the 90s. Now, we want a joke, man. With a spirit, we get, we get, he got that from us. He probably heard us say that. Oh, I believe he got that from us. Because we used to say that back in the middle of me and Pastor Tom and Kabar. Yeah, man. We just talking about that time coming. He just spirit from us. But we just we be dropping you know, back in New York, baby. It's fitting, man. But we going to remember that time coming. We're going to remember the most I picked up. It was that spiritual power. He said, hey, you're going to have a woman uh, hook him up, beat her up. She's going to call the cops. And, you know, the cop car going to pull up. Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Real talk. Flavor Flavor prophesied. He said, "Now we want to be joking." No she gonna call her. Hey, your woman gonna call nine one one. And then the, the cop, you know, the cop, the cruiser pull up, and then she gonna be like, "Hey, get your ass no. And then we gonna get out. <laughs> we gonna we gonna have garments on, but we gonna have the police." <laughs> you know I want the captain the hat the, the, with the curve on it and how the lieutenants be wearing on the, on the street feet. I'm going to have on that bitch. I'm going to roll up. She's going to call the cops. White and black tag is going to be the gold of black tag. Hey, y'all, you better go call the cops on you. And then, and then you know, the crews are going to pull up, the lights going to be flashing, and I'm going to get out. No! <laughs> With a garment on. You didn't fuck up? No, what's going on? Go See what happened was, hey, this bitch had an order. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. <laughs> I'm going to tase her ass. Hey. Hey. Look at that Really? I got a script. Oh, come on. This is first Ooh. Peter's. This first Peter's three. I'm gonna start at one. <laughs> Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husband. Did, did, did the Lord say this because he just you know giving a suggestion, or this is the will of the Lord. See, when Paul wrote certain things, he said, "I pray this by permission," but uh, in certain things, no, this is what the Lord said. Mm -hmm. If the Lord didn't preface it with permission, this actually comes from the Lord. And ninety nine point nine 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 things in the scriptures came from the Lord. I bet for all of them because even by permission, it still came from the Lord. So, bottom line is, read that again. It says, likewise, in 1 Peter 3 and 1, likewise, ye wives be in subjection, sub, uh, which means under, all right? Subjection means be under the rule of your own, to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, that they may be, that they also may without the word, May be won by the conversation of the wives. So now the conversation means conduct. So that says to a woman, hey, follow your man. Even if he off, be obedient to your man. Now he doing shit that's off that you know you can't do. Follow the Lord and your man so that he can see what them. She do this and this and that and see your conduct and your conversation that he can see an example of the Lord through you. There was a brother who actually went to, uh, the elder uh, uh, Manasseh Zagbach, he brought his whole family out to him. And his wife, he was like, hey, what you doing? Like, what, what this, he was so wooed off of how she be changed. He was like, what you looking into? He was like, no, you know, this baby, this baby. And then she ended up, because of her conduct, she won her husband. Now her husband is a believer. Oh. Right? But that's because her conduct was on point. But that's the double side of it. You bitches that's out of order, yeah, you bitches are through. But yeah, but there are going to be some women that's going to be on somewhat on point, man. Well, right? yeah, because Isaiah the scripture four says, has to come to pass. right? Because the scripture said, now if we do get on the Israelite woman, yeah, because you bitches ain't shit right now. Black history, the, the, the majority, and the majority wise, you know, it's a rare thing to see a man. You know, you come home and your woman, she be fucking damn near ready to run to your goddamn arms. You don't fucking see that because I want my fucking monsters right now. All right, but that's a person to us. You know? Hey, but guess what? We're going to bear the shame, but we still going to tell you bitches right. you ain't shit, though. You right. Know? But that's why I said what really? I said. You know? Uh, Friday mm -hmm. night again. I said, like, mm -hmm. like I said, niggas, you niggas, you pookie and way back niggas, you, you, you laying up with some bitch, and she got section eight, eating up all her yeah. food stand with kids, cereal, and you just laying up, you know, you, 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 you got me 20 of it, you know, you get some money, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> Nigga, you a fucking loser. Go get a job. 
You go ahead up with a woman. Remember, the scripture says, uh, if a woman, uh, oh my God, oh, maintain her husband, maintain her husband, she becomes, uh, I got it. Uh, well, that's good. It's around 25. See, we ain't gonna be fucking neutral up no goddamn woman. You wanna be a fucking man. That's something the Apostle Tahar told us years ago, man. Okay? Told all of us that shit years ago. So look, you're gonna be a good damn man. You're living off your woman, man. You know, do a fucking job. Work, we worked, we hustled, we worked, we did shit. Whether we was on the oil tables, I had jobs. But I didn't I forgot about jobs I had. You know, I got the construction work, you know what I'm saying? I, I did all kinds of shit. I got into security, the bouncer shit, bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah, I worked for Lexus. Car. That's I, real shit. I'd have somebody. I worked for United Rentals. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we worked, bro. We worked for fucking years. Yeah. We definitely broke the shop. Sirac twenty five and twenty six. If anything, I was with bitches, and I was holding shit down. The last bitch I was just with, you know, Miss mm-hmm. Margarita. Mm-hmm. I was paying fucking twelve hundred dollar a month rent. But I that bitch. That bitch. I don't smoke no goddamn cigarettes. She's smoking. I was paying twelve hundred dollars a month for a little one bedroom apartment up there in Brinkburg, Connecticut. Mm-hmm. Fucking uh, buying this bitch her Newport cigarettes, her Coca Cola soda. Okay, I was paying the rent. I was paying for everything. Okay, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yes. And I wanted to do it because I'm the man. You, you feel me? You know, we take care of our work. Yeah, we but take care of our possession. What happens if you don't respect me? I'll, the Lord flips the script. Regardless, if you don't, if you're a man of the Lord, you don't flip the script. The Lord still flips the script because you cannot, uh, you can't do wrong and get by. Yeah, right. The Most High is going to make it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a repercussions coming. That's right. right. So even if you Break don't do it, the Lord going to do it. That's right. Because you got men now. See, the Lord says He marvels when the Lord says He marvels at something. You got to really look like damn the Lord. The Lord says this is amazing. Right. Well, Lord, you made this. Right. So how do you be amazed by what you made? But because the probabilities is so astounding to him, it amazed him of the probabilities of the situation that he made. He said a man and his maid. You know you got 8 billion people on the planet. You got majority of females. So out of 8 billion people, you got uh, overwhelmingly a majority of women. So let's just say there's um, 2 billion men and 5 billion women. You can say 3 billion men and 4 billion women. It doesn't matter. It's that significant of an increase of women to men. He said, out of all these men and how they deal with their women, it's so astounding to him that the differences is that dynamic what he said, a man and his mate. You get one brother with a woman and he was like, I'm so cool, bro. Get the other brother with the woman. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of my house. And I don't want to talk to your ass no more. Read. All right. And then you get another man with a woman, and it'd be somewhere in between. God. You don't it, it, to the point that that's just on one thing. Now you talk to another one. It's a whole nother gamut of possibilities. <laughs> the Lord says, "Well, man, this made is so dynamic because the Lord made us so dynamic. How we deal with the woman. I talk to this brother sometimes, and I be lamenting some shit I go through. He said, "Hey." What's one of your favorite words? You better what? You better than me. He said, man, you better than me. <laughs> I go then at certain times, and it's, matter of fact, Arala, when it comes down to women and how men treat women, what do you call me toward women? He said, I'm the nice guy. Yeah, yeah. All right? So so then you take the nice guy, <laughs> and then trying. you turn around. Yeah, trying, yeah. And I know this, I know this brother. I know this man. Brother close brother to me. <laughs> I know this shit. Oh, yeah. I know this shit for a fact. Not a brother, not a bro. No, I, bro, bro, close but that's just my nature now. that the Lord gave me. But that's and, cool. But, but guess what? what? The Lord, it's like if I made I'm it. the same way, bro. No, that's why we click. Okay. I'm the same fucking way, bro. Right? I believe all men are. And the difference is once we got jaded, <laughs> we men change. Oh, yeah, and the bro. Lord made, like, yeah. I, I commend the Murph. People get mad at the Murph, all right? But they get mad at the Murph because he's so hard. You know, and I already know why he's hard. And no homo. <laughs> I, I know why you're saying. Hold on. I'm glad you said that. I want to say that for you because I don't care about I that. know you don't. We've uh, had an epic battle <laughs> over this for decades. But, 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 but the Lord set up men for certain team. reasons, right? <laughs> right now, of, right now we're, 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 we're heading team. to the Judgment oh, Day. Judgment Day, he said, this is not, this is a right day of darkness. It's a body. He says, it's a day of judgment day is a day of darkness and not light. 
So right now we ended the judgment day. Now you got the guy who was the lover, the kind of give you the sun, the rain, the moon, whatever. And then they get beat over and they get, <laughs> and they get kicked over and they get down some more. And then and sent after all of that, here comes that same guy saying, I've been hurt all day long and been treated like shit all day long. Because because he know how it should be. This son God. nigga, no. Please. Give her the elbow, give her the boot, give her the fist, give her the the, the kick out the fucks. Ooh, and so okay, and yeah. then the Lord will set that man up to show that man, look, look, bro, you out of balance with this right here. Because now this is judgment. Go look at David and Mikhail. David loved Mikhail. Yeah. He he went and got mad at uh, Sam, uh, uh, Saul for taking uh, Mikhail from him and yeah. him to another motherfucker, which was wicked as hell. All right. And so the Lord said, "No, go get your Mikhail back." All right. We men in, in, the, in the in the pit of our stomachs and our heart are kind, loving, and cautious, and so forth. Okay. But there is a limit to so, how the most high will go so far. The, you know, what did the Lord say? He, he created what bounds that he can pass. There's bounds that women can pass. There's bounds that men can pass. And if a man is out of balance with the Lord and the spirit, the Lord is going to put that brother back in balance through the spirit. The Lord is going to put him back in balance. Because David, he went back and got her, but she bitched up. Yep. That's why he put her ass away. Right. Eventually. He went yeah. back and got her and had her. And then when the Lord Dave was dancing for the Lord, she get up here. Oh, so you're gonna go ahead and show all your shit out for the girl daughter sometimes. You're gonna just show all your shit. He said, bitch, I'm gonna be more vile to myself. Why was he vile to myself? Because he loved you, bitch. He wanted you, bitch, but not at the extent of your disrespect. So he said, bitch, you're gonna be the bitch that don't get no more. You're the one who's gonna be the old maid. No children for you, bitch. Yeah. Nobody can deal with her. Nobody can deal with you now. You just shut up, play with your finger, bitch. Yeah, you tell me, David, you got your business all in and out. Oh, she said he was acting in, in, in modern day a terms. Man, she yeah. said he, she was, he was acting like a nigga in the world. A base fella. Yeah, yeah, as he said, he was acting like a nigga. But in the he world. was dancing and, 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 and rejoicing for the Lord. What he said before the Lord oh, and who put me who put me over your father. That's right. This. And he cut her ass back, and that was a low blow too. Because I know that's but that was beautiful though. And, and, oh, but, man, this shit, you know he's doing. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's and, right and that shit. Get the fuck out, bitch. And, and, and I look at Mikhail. That's a Rapunzel story. And, and, and it is. I was going to say it. All right? Because she got put in the tower. No more dick. No more nothing. You just shut the fuck up and you just be cool. But all you had to do was shut the fuck up. That's it. Hey, shut the one. Shut the one. Shut the one. They got a scripture for you. Three. This is Ecclesiastes. Uh, 726. And I find more bitter than death of the woman whose heart is snares and nets. The word heart means the mind. Talk to me about it. So, this is this, uh, their mind is what? If like, whose heart is there snares and nets? How can I trap you? And hands like bands. How can I uh, hold you down? Whoso pleases the most high shall escape from her. Woo! But the sinner shall be taken by it. Oh, see that 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 see that's cold blooded. That's cold blooded, man. That's cold that so goes right back to the original shit I said. Blooded. I was getting on these men. These losing niggas mooching off women. And, 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 and I'm gonna put this on camera, man. Yep. You brothers, man, in GMS, any brother that's in Great Milestone or affiliate, you know, you uh you affiliate I hey, I acknowledge you brothers. As far as I'm concerned, the brothers. You know, all you brothers, that's the, the, you, know, you know, we got a lot of brothers. They're not on the roster, right. but they with us. They're on the team. They're on the team. You brothers, as far as I'm concerned, well, Apostle Tar already said it. Yeah. So pretty yeah. much all you uh, you brothers, you affiliate camps, y'all GMS. Okay? I'm telling you, y'all pretty much, pretty much y'all GMS. Okay? You brothers are down. All right? So I'm just making that known. You know what I mean? I'm in contact with certain brothers, uh, yeah. affiliate camp, GMS. You know, you brothers are pretty much GMS, man. The Bible says that you're yay be yay and you nay be nay. You know, we, there's no fucking gray areas, man. So all you brothers that that, uh, that are down with us, even though you might not actually be on the so-called roster, y'all down. Okay, y'all follow us, y'all. You know what I mean? Y'all GMS, man. Anyways, uh, uh, um... All you brothers and your GMS, the followers of GMS, it better not be nobody. Now, all you brothers, you camp leaders, 
and shit like that. But y'all know about man. There better not be no fucking dudes mooching off no goddamn woman, man. That's nigga shit. That's nigga shit. That's why I was uh, 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 Friday night at the camp in, in Dallas over there. I started getting on niggas about that. These two weirdos came walking up. I'm about to go up to this motherfucker head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but, you know, they got to fuck out of here, bro. Just go. Just yeah. go. Just call me before something happens. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah, man. Check up and get on, man. You know what I mean? Jake just don't get it, man. Because you got cut. Maybe that's what your ass doing. Yep. You know he what I mean? He cut. He couldn't repent. Yeah, man. Let me, or, or examine himself. Examine it. Yeah, which that's the spirit of a woman. Look, yeah, man. Right. Men gotta be fucking men. Like the elder said, man. Brother, 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 you got women. You got, brother, you got women, man. Look, man. I'm gonna move. Like, look, okay, I've had women. But that's back when I was fucking 18. I mentioned my cousin. This nigga, 53. <laughs> and he's still, you know, back in New York. My, one of yeah. my cousins. This nigga still don't just chicken. Just chicken. You got to. I'm like, yo, dude. Like, nigga, like, take care of yourself, bro. Like, you're in your 50s now, nigga. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Yeah. That nigga Nas made that song, Being the Second Childhood. Yeah. That, 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 that's that. You remember that song? Yeah. That's I nigga. Know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Mom, yeah. he actually black. You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, nigga, what's wrong with you, man? Like, this nigga's still talking that shit. You're right. Like, back when we was, back, like, you know, back when I first came to the truth, Oh, and this particular cousin, supposedly he well, he was he was in the truth too at one time. Oh, he brought him to the school. He so called accepted the truth, mm -hmm. but of course that nigga fell off. Whatever, right? Back when he was like, first coming into truth, back when back in the early nineties, man, 1990, 91, 92, you know, we had that little mentality like that. You know, you know, we was you know, getting chicks, getting money out of chicks, but that was back then. That was 30, 34, 33 years ago, motherfucker. I used to think that when I had chicks, I was getting money out of a couple of little chicks back then up in New York and stuff. But I was fucking 17, 18, 19. I was still young. But I came out of that shit like, nah, man. That, that shit, okay, it's cool. Well, of course, man. It's groovy a bitch give you something. Oh, yeah, don't turn down nothing with your collar. I mean, it's groovy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know. You agree with me? I mean, no, it's groovy, man. A bitch, a bitch wants to throw you something. I don't say no. Well, hey, thank you. Like she was not worthy to be taken. I'm not making his lifeline, man. You no, know, my kids are fine. My, girl, my girlfriend brought me stuff for oh, your birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, your woman want to take you out to dinner? That's no, I ain't going to. That's awesome. Your woman want to. I'm taking you out to dinner. I'm going to buy you some cowboy boots. I've had one thing. Bro, I had this chick. I was eating my chick I was doing one years ago. She brought me some cowboy boots and shit. Like, so I take gifts, but guess what? I reciprocate, though. Like, like, I, like, I, like I reciprocate. I'll do for a woman, too. Right? See, like, and then, like your brothers are saying, oh, man, I think the other Uriah was saying it, man. Or, no, this brother was saying, oh, the brother that's right, like, Hey, right, like, right. hey, I was your yeah, brother. Right, like, like, he was saying, you're making a point <laughs> before you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, um. When a man and a woman got a good thing going, you got a good thing going. Right? See, we ain't here trying to just damage brothers' yeah, relationships. Yeah. Okay? No. If you want a woman and she cool, what did the Bible say? You dwell with her. Go right? home right? to yeah. your wife, yeah. brother. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 yo, if you got a good thing going, man, if your yeah, lady is cool, yeah, yeah. then be cool, man. Right. I have to tell brothers, man, that, yo, don't go home where well, the Bible says, but you're not a lion in that home. If your lady is cool, lie, lie. Don't go home on some fucking shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't go home, bitch, bitch. Why don't the fuck out and shit? Right. Unless she needs that. Exactly. But if your old lady's cool, man, just go home and make love to your woman. Like Brad Pitt said in uh, Troy, go home and make love to your old woman. <laughs> yeah, that's it, right? The new way we play Achilles. <laughs> go home. Make love to you, bro. May the gods keep the wolves in our heels and the women in the bed. Come on, they talk about some shit I watch every yeah, day for six months. Go home to your woman. D, D, D. Go home. Make love to your woman. Right? You understand what I'm saying? If the old lady's cool, be cool. For all you brothers, I'm, I'm, 
Just right. listening. Just be cool. The the old old lady's cool. Wife. Just be cool. The Lord bless you, man. But like, you know, if she being a bitch, then what the uh, the divine court of the scripture, if she would not go as that would have her, cut her off from the flesh. Why the why fucking um keep torturing or something? Like you're holding the scorpion. Yeah. You know, yeah, you deal with this woman, she's steady. And, and then and ultimately, hey, the Lord will get rid of that bitch to save you. Hey, so like it, well, the scripture say that a wicked woman is a portion of a wicked man. A woman left me, I felt bad about that. Then I asked myself, I said, Are you a wicked man? No. Fuck that bitch. Right. And then that's the Lord. That's it. I that's the Lord. Hey, they can't sit with the Lord. I can sit your ass down for a little while. Yeah, man. Right. Then I built the white guys. You remember that shit, brother? That shit was so funny. That shit was so funny. Oh, my God. That was years ago. I can sit your ass down for a little while. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. I'm talking to my baby mama on the phone. This bitch talking about getting me locked up all type of shit, man. They, they look. Like I told you, I don't really have a bitch that's my bitch. But the main bitch I deal with Chinese. There you, go. Look at the nigga. there you go. I go to the crib. I'm chilling. You didn't mean to take over your show, Elvis. She's being a spirit of ancient China, man. I'll be there. You know what, though? Listen, man. Brother Stephanie probably just rambling. We ain't rambling. It's in the spirit. See, two. It's right at the same time. But why is this seven three people on and all these comments? Look at all the comments. All the comments on the comment board, bro. It's the spirit of the Lord. And yeah. you know what? Bring like we mentioned me. earlier, when it comes down to, especially when you start talking about the nigga woman, all right, he said, when yeah. outside of your hollow box, you have a shot, a man loving nothing better. All right, so guess what? The, why Esau like Edom, Edom, why Esau Edom has used the nigga woman against us? Because it's, it's the nigga's kryptonite. So he's elevated the nigga woman because men, all they want is to be at peace with their woman. See, Esau, go, he said, according to the scriptures, he's a man of the world. He's a man of the field. He keepeth not at home, right? Well, what does Jake men do? Jake men, he said he's a he's a he dwell, he's a dwelling in tents, right? He keepeth at home. He's a plain man, which means complete. We want to be at the crib chilling with our bitches and our kids. That's what that's what that's in the pit of Jake's spirit. As a matter of fact, around the one who even his ass stay at the crib all the time with his yep. eleven kids. A man, the Lord said a man will love nothing better he than the, the beautiful woman, man. So Jacob is a man, a dweller in tents, keeping it at home. Esau, Eden is the one gathering abroad out in, in Galilee across the country, across the planet. He's taught Esau, uh, Esau, yeah. Edom has taught the nigga woman to be that, oh, she want to go over to, to, to Dubai. She want to go over the to, exactly, it's even the serpent, and they go jet Galilee and want to go all over. I just want to ride. Where to? I just want to ride. Why? So they sit there, burn gas, and just drive for for two or three hours. Just just driving in circles. Bitch, if we ain't going somewhere, I'm not driving. We at the crib. We cool. You got me. We got the kids. What else do you need? That's that Esau Edom fucking desire because they don't have the heavenly father. They don't have peace in their heart and their mind and their soul. So they're looking for something to gratify them. They're looking for something to satisfy them. But well, we're satisfied. We got the truth. We got Yahweh watching our shine and eternity. Ain't nothing we can't do. If I want to go to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, one year I might go, but I'm not going to go searching all day and year now to find what's my next Mount Kilimanjaro. All right? That's the reason why the most science about destroy all you wicked ass niggas, all you wicked ass bitches, and you wicked ass fucking heathens, man. And first of all, you don't care about your how about you, how about you, how about the law, statutes, commandments, the truth, the will of the Lord. It's all about you and your immediate gratification of whatever physical, emotional, or some tangible desire that's fleeting and bullshit as fuck. Right? Because the white man's world is not nowhere near where it's ought to be. It's already polluted. That's what said, uh, what's it, Michael? He said, uh, it's polluted. This not someone give me that. This not rising in the park. Oh, yeah, this is not yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. everything down team. here is polluted. Uh, Nothing down here is cool. Every down, everything down here that is not dealing with you. How about you? How about you? Is polluted. We gotta do our. It's fucked up. Go ahead. Mom's first one to get it read. Let the uh, message get this shit, man. Micah two and ten. <laughs> Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This ain't your rest. <laughs> this means this is not the place you're supposed to sleep down. <laughs> this is not where your pillows at. This is yeah. not where your bed at. It's not where your comforters at. Right. Go ahead. Because it is polluted. It's polluted. Now, 
polluted means the uh for uh actually I had the definition up earlier yeah, yeah, yeah. and and, and, and it, it, uh, definitely defiled. And that's what it is it's basically unclean. unclean. It's, right. it's gonna go back to being unclean. It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. Mm. What, what kind of destruction? A sword destruction. So if you follow your how about you shy, you got righteousness and life everlasting. You don't follow your how about you shy, you have a sore polluted destruction. So who are you with? Who are you for? The most high or for yourself? Okay. Now, um, now for the video sake of an hour and 40 minutes, so I'm going to wrap up in the video and we can continue to go into the spirit because now we're in class time. Here in Chicago, good, and good. I don't want to take over the mighty birth class. Good. No, this uh, was come on, man. No, no, it's no, out I, of elements. This is the class. Spirit. This name is right. the spirit. It's right. And why this man a hey, scripture say, Well, the two or three got together, damn, in the midst of them. You yeah. got it, read, nigga. Read, <laughs> 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 it's uh, Matthew 18 and 20. Read. For where two or three are gathered together in my name. There am I in the midst of them. So I Lord. can't the glad nigga. This is class. This yep. this is this spirit of the Lord. And you what you're going through. Because I damn sure ain't spent a night over you, right, Al. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I can't remember what you had. All right. So, but for the sake of um, the video, I'm gonna end right now and we're gonna continue class and it's happening one four four two. Whoa, yeah, see, the brothers and sisters, you know, on the comic boards, um, people I mean, I it's they lit up the scriptures, yeah. I've been watching the whole time, yeah. And, and you know, and um, so yeah, you know, spirit do what it do, hey, um, like I said, you sisters, yeah. man, because uh, even well, you know, through the spirit of y'all, how about you? I was shy, and okay. all seriousness, I acknowledge you, sisters, out there. I know that there's some sincere. Sisters, I have sisters be hitting me up all the time. I said in the intro, the very few so, and okay. the very all three of them. sisters that listen. I said in the, <laughs> yeah. all three of them. Out of that thousand oh, women there. I'd be like, yo, I say shout out to rock call Akim Wa Akwa. Because I know there's sisters that watch the videos and y'all sincere. Look, man, like the old saying goes, if the shoe fit or yeah. uh, 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 wear it, if it don't throw it out, there's another. Get another so, oh, you sisters, that y'all know y'all doing the right thing. The shit we say don't apply to y'all. Okay. Right. And I mean, it's that simple. We say it all the time. But that's how you know a righteous woman versus a wicked woman. Right. You said that y'all, you, oh, you one of them. Like, Job, what did Job say to this woman? You sound like one of them mm -hmm. uh, 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 foolish women. You yeah. Sound like you sound like one of them foolish women. You sound like one of them women going to fuck off. I don't know what the fuck you're going to Yeah. All right. It's because they're, they're, they're wise that's women. They're foolish women. Right, and they're wise men and foolish men. And if you hear the words to come out of the mouth, we actually cut some men over you bitches because men were supposed to rule. Right. So if you don't understand the balance, that's oh. on you. Going to the temple. We can end. Okay, back to the temple. Right. You, you remember we never we never went into it because this right. goes back to what you said. The last part, because I want to um, break something down because we have brought this out. We this is for Timothy coach. three, and I'm gonna pick it back up four. One that rules well his own house, mm -hmm. having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Now, you, you respect the brothers, and you respect the brothers in the truth. You know, you, you respect them because they're the men of the Lord, and, you know, we all fighting for the same thing. That's a certain type of respect that's demanded. But when you go into that gravity, the rule into your own house, I'm, I'm going to go into the gravity. In, in, in the Greek, all right, it says the characteristics of a thing or person which entitles reverence and respect. Mm. Your presence must demand respect. If your presence don't demand respect, I don't look. I tell niggas they have to respect. They understand whether they like me or don't. They have to respect me. I have to look. We stand for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We don't have to respect these people. They have to respect us. Because they can't do what we what we can do. And we did their job a million times. Like my brother Diane Howard used to say, man. We can do their job. They, they can never do ours. We did, they couldn't do this shit one time. Sorry. I'm going to read that again, man. Because you got to rule with Sorry. gravity. You, you can't be a nigga. Don't forget where you're going. But you just no, said they can't do this, right? So no. They can't, so no. Now, guess what? They'll never do not it. Not one, one of it. us, the so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, not even one of the hope of righteous elect to do this. Without the power of the Hawaii, 
That's right. That's right. In the scriptures, it says, That's right. Hey, who got the keys to open this book? He said he looked under, over, Revelation 5 and 5. And he couldn't find out one person who was worthy to open the book. Only one that was worthy was Yahweh Shah. The line that so, so if you if you don't understand the depth of what this brother just said, all right? Not one of us is worthy to even even pick up the scriptures and the word of God who nope. wasn't without Yahweh Shah. He's the one who gave us the keys. And it's the only reason why we got the keys because he showed us fit to even hold the keys. And just because we hold the keys don't mean we straight. Because remember, you got uh, the 10 versions, five are wise and five are foolish. So we're hoping to be with the the wise wise holding the keys of life and existence. Because you got your IUIC, your GOCC, you got that they hold the clippers in such a way that they can all come. Oh, hold on. I'm not even going to give them that. Oh, That's yeah. Nazariah breakdown. They wasn't saying that before Nazariah. That's something new you did bring to Israel, nigga. A uh, all fucking breakdown. <laughs> yeah, Dumbass right. nigga. Then he was saying that way before that. Mm -hmm. Cause when, when I when I had hair a very long time ago, you remember Yashamar, y'all was right here. Y'all rebuked me here, man, chase about it. And I just let it go. And and he let the text let it go at the time. He was done. Man, that nigga was coming up with all this shit. This back in the day, man. I'm not giving out you I see that. We talking about some 2012 type shit, man. They just nigga Nazariah been on this shit, man. I'm gonna give him that folly credit. You hold the clippers like this is not going on. <laughs> on the line. <laughs> no, 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 no. That yeah, nigga, that nigga, nigga no, 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 matter of fact, hey, that nigga say, where Ben Andy's at in the script? Read. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> nigga now's right out of the chain, bro. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> say, where Ben? He said, ask Benji. Ask your boy, man. That's why I can't get him the credit to this poly breakdown. Damn. I can give him the credit to a lot of shit. Damn. You have the Quran, remember that? And this we this brother was my best friend, man. I'm not gonna negate that fact. But like the elder Uriah is going into, if the Lord didn't get we brought it out this early, there's a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty giving him understanding. If the Holy Spirit not sucking with you, it wasn't for you. That's why Revelations, when you go into Revelations, the 21st chapter, or what's that, the 22nd chapter, it said, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is not holy, let him be holy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is just, let him be just still. All right, the scripture saying, Sarah, the truth shall return to her that practice in it. So if this wasn't sent through you, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai said in uh, Matthew, all right, when he went back into the spirit world, he said, lo, I'll be with you even to the end of the earth. The Lord ain't with you. He wasn't. He not dealing with you. They was never with us. Hey, we, we, we brought that out earlier. We were talking about they not with us tonight. You know, because you got to. Ain't nobody can leave a camp and think they cool unless the camp was wicked. If the camp was wicked, they not teaching Yahweh. They teach Yahweh try to teach a way off as fucking doctrine. If that's not the case, you leave a camp. That's on you, and the most is gonna fuck you up. Uh, yeah, you can't just leave. There's no provisions to anybody leave Yahweh Shai camp. Say Yahweh Shai, I'm gonna do my own thing. See, it. go ahead, brother. No, nah, but that's just. But you, you really got. This is a very, this is a very serious thing. So when you a man, especially a man of the Lord, I'm, I'm gonna just go back into it. Going into that having gravity, it said the characteristics of a thing or person which entitles reverence and respect, dignity, majesty, sanctity, honor, and purity. You, you really got to be a man to do them. And you can't be no man with your head up a bitch ass or being dependent on a woman. And I like receiving gifts. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm wearing a couple of them right now. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you got to be a fucking man. And, and, and you can't let the gifts compromise your judgment. Right? Exactly. The scriptures say even with, with going into what Esau give us and telling with that woman, the gift is saying the gift lines the eyes. Of course, yeah, the 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 judgment of the righteous. Right. You being a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She out here fucking all type of dudes. You take her to be your woman, though. I see I don't, none of these hoes my woman. I don't care who they from. But nevertheless, you get up with this woman, like the elder Uriah saying, y'all supposed to be in a situation. And because she let you use the car, you let her talk to you crazy. Yeah. You let her fuck other dudes. Yeah. You know? 
That's right. She let her look look sit sit in front of your face and disrespect you and eat scrimp. Sure. Look, okay. bitch, if you don't get your raggedy mouth ass out of my presence, that's a presence to be in. You don't deserve this gift. Get the fuck on, bitch. That's yeah. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We talk about some real shit. Yeah. So, uh, you know, like I said, for the sake of uh, the class, if I'm here to the lesson being of love, I'm going to end it now. And through the spirit, you know, we've got right. back into another lesson. And, um, you know, hopefully it's edifying to the spirit and power you have to which I'll praise you now. Thank you. 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 He drops down spirit of uh, gems and, and little nuggets. History, the spirit. The Lord set up these great men. All right. And if y'all don't hurt, you can hear what he was telling us in private. How they trying to fall back. Hey, yes, all about y'all. It ain't about us. Fuck us. It's all about like, y'all don't even know from the moment we have met the apostles. The apostles have been like saying, fuck themselves. They don't care about themselves. It's all about the Lord and the body of the Lord. Because this is not our joint. This is not our body. It's, this is the body of Yahweh Hashem Shai. We entered we all from the apostles on down entered into the works of Yahweh Hashem Shai. It's their works, all right. And we just laborers among it, yeah. all right. So if the water to the laborers that are pushing Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Follow the, 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 the example from Yahweh Yahweh Shai and the apostles on down. I say this, man. I'm I'm sure. this. We entered into other men's labors, man. Okay. Talking about us, the, okay. the apostles. Okay. You know, y'all look at us, right, as the leaders of Israel. And, man, we just really holding it down until our leaders get back. That's right. Okay, I came up around King Masha, uh, Abu Zarya, Abu Jaikwa, Abu Shah. I know what it's like to be around those men. And it's, it's your, your brothers, man, like, I get emotional thinking about those men. Like, yo, we entered into their labels, man. Okay, and some of them passed away, whatever. Who remained. Yeah, so we just like, what, what, what was we gonna do? We had to keep teaching, That's right. we had to keep the legacy going. So basically, they'll be back though. King Masha, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Yaikwa, amen. When the Lord set them back in their position, that's it, man. We just like, we just holding it down to get back, <laughs> you know what I mean? And righteous order, yeah. So, you know, hopefully, like I said, and, and I see you, I see you quips. I saw your bar the day. Yeah. I want to take a picture from my phone. It's, I, I, it's <laughs> acting crazy when you said this. Shalom. Shalom. I was, I was, I was at your bar the day thinking of your baby hug just for you. So that's just for you. You know what I'm talking about. Now. So, um, you know, all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bosh, Yahweh, Shalom. In fact, we'll do it. Officially, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. The apostles of the apostles of New York, they know something to the best. And I saw Akin on the planet. If nothing will be Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, keep this sincerity. Take these words, take this opportunity, as the scriptures in uh, Sarak says, observe the opportunity. I believe it's in the pocket. Uh -huh. Observe the opportunity. Take this opportunity to live right and grow within the spirit of the Lord. And may the Most High come and save us soon. Shalom to the hope of righteous men. With that, we're going to say shalom to the Kwame Ashram. Kwame Ashram. Kwame Ashram. Kwame Ashram. And you know what I'm about to say? Say it with me.